Well, we're going to wrap up this show talking about one last interesting partnership, and this is between Boingo Wireless and AWS. And, you know, so if you are a frequent traveler, um, or if you go to stadium venues, you are probably familiar with Boingo Wireless. And um, there was already a partnership between Boingo Wireless and AWS, but they have just announced an expansion of that partnership. And Boingo Wireless is integrating AWS Edge and cloud services with their own converged network offering. And you know this is going to be implemented with things like distributed antenna systems and Wi-Fi and other private network deployments. And where we're going to see this is in stadiums and airports and manufacturing facilities and healthcare facilities and really other large enterprises are all kind of key candidates for this kind of an expanded partnership. Um, and I think I think that's really, I think it's pretty cool and I think it's important. Um, <clears throat> you know, I was in I was in Chicago O'Hare in the last week after a quick trip to visit one of my daughters. And so this caught my attention in terms of an example of this in use. So Boingo recently launched a new private network at O'Hare Airport using Citizens Broadband radio service, Spectrum, and connecting IoT devices that power essential airport services. And what they're what they're trying to do with this is that they want to transition to more touchless experiences for passengers. Who's not in favor of that, right? The more touchless, the better for me. And, um, you know, O'Hare also recently launched a virtual customer service center at its traveler's aid station, and it needed its own wireless network to facilitate live video chats with on-site passengers and remote staff. So when you think about the use cases here, I think that's what's really important and, and where, um, where AWS comes in is, of course, their cloud and edge um, capabilities that are, you know, powering that. So, um, you know, what what users get is fast speed, high quality video, um, you know, better customer service all the way around, you know, again, whether you're in a stadium watching a sporting event or at a concert or whether you're in an airport or other facility, um, I think this is really interesting. I, I like seeing the expansion of this partnership, and I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I agree. I, I think it's another great example of how this is really an ecosystem play. It shows that when it comes to uh, 5G and Wi-Fi, in, in many cases, it's not an either-or proposition. They can definitely coexist and complement each other. And I think the airport example is a wonderful one because I know myself and many uh, folks we know, uh, when you walk into an airport, you're probably using 4G or 5G on your phone. Right. And when you have to sit down and you know do something on a laptop while waiting you know, for the, uh, the flight to take off, you will gladly switch over to the Wi-Fi service that's offered. And in many cases, it's Boingo. It could yeah. some show the Boingo trademark, but other times it, it could be you know labeled uh, by the local you know, airport authority and, and so on. So it's just, uh, again, another, uh, I think, uh, great example of how uh, you know players can collaborate to make things better for you know customers, for users. Yeah there. And so uh, this is, uh, I think, uh, a, list, uh, a good example of how you know, Wi-Fi is uh, definitely something uh, that can uh, be uh, integral to uh, making uh, better experiences for folks out there. And that's what it's all about. That's what 5G is all about, right? <laughs> better experiences, more innovation, all kinds of exciting things. 